police officer hired hitman to kill her husband and a young girl. Sometimes marriages end, even when they have the most promising beginnings. Despite vows being taken and the promise of till death do us part, people can change and fall out of love. However, what happens when that love turns to hate so strong, even divorce won't remedy it? Before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for daily amazing videos. For Isaiah Carvalho Jr., divorce meant the start of a new life away from his estranged wife, Linda, a New York City police officer. However, Isaiah was about to get the shock of his life. Linda had been plotting a horrible fate for him. In fact, for over five months, Valerie Cincinnati had been plotting with her boyfriend to hire a hitman to murder both her soon-to-be ex-husband and her new boyfriend's daughter. This story is too horrific to believe. A tale of corruption, anger, and pure vengeance. Both Isaiah and Linda had married in 2015, thinking they would spend the rest of their lives together. Linda was a successful police officer, and Isaiah was a machine operator who sold fireworks on the side. Together, they seemed like a match made in heaven. The couple seemed quite happy at first. Although Linda's job did provide a fair share of stress, the newlyweds managed to work through it. Unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse. Four years into the marriage, Linda decided to call it quits and move on with another man. What followed was a very messy divorce that involved mediation and a lengthy custody battle for their two children. However, at five months of hell, Isaiah thought the matter had resolved itself. Linda had other plans. In fact, she hatched a diabolical scheme that would involve hiring someone to kill Isaiah and her new boyfriend's daughter. Linda wanted to start fresh and felt the only way to do so would be to eliminate them both. Linda's new boyfriend was caught in the middle of the scheme. He loved Linda, but knew that a murder-for-hire plot wouldn't be successful. Realizing she could use her powers within the NYPD to make it happen, he quickly contacted the FBI. After revealing Linda's plans to the FBI, it was decided that the boyfriend would see how far Linda would go with her plans. He would be the eyes and ears of the FBI with the plan to catch her in the act. Despite her boyfriend's initial objections, Linda wouldn't take no for an answer. After the custody battle with her ex, she wouldn't let him get away with taking her two children or humiliating her in court. Therefore, he needed to die. Linda had been exposed to homicides over the course of her career at the NYPD. She knew how killers were caught and that it would be in their best interest to hire someone to do it. They couldn't have any trails leading the murders back to them. The boyfriend couldn't imagine life without his own daughter, and while he knew that Linda's divorce had been a messy affair, murder seemed to be a bit extreme. However, he realized she was set on having them dead. Nothing would change her mind. Linda's plan was simple. They would make her ex-husband's death look like an accident, and then the killer would run over her boyfriend's daughter outside of her school. For Linda's boyfriend, it was a scene out of a horror movie, and when Isaiah was informed of the murderous plot, he was beside himself. It's your worst nightmare scenario, said Matthew Weiss, Mr. Carvalho's lawyer. Isaiah believes the divorce has hit Linda hard. She had run into troubles with the NYPD in the past, and combined with her marriage troubles, it seemed she finally snapped. If only he knew how bad things actually were. After five months of planning and the FBI tracking the situation, Linda was finally ready to make her move. She instructed her boyfriend to hire the killer, but was very specific on how he should be paid. Linda's boyfriend revealed he was instructed to withdraw $7,000 from the bank and to purchase the same amount in gold coins. This would be the easiest and least trackable way to pay the killer. Meanwhile, Linda used social media to track her boyfriend's daughter and learn her routine. She wanted to know the girl's every move so the hitman could do his job properly. Everything needed to be planned perfectly for the murders to proceed without any complications. Finally, on May 13, 2019, Linda called her boyfriend and asked him to meet her to discuss the hits in detail. Wearing a wire, he met with her, hoping the FBI could finally get the evidence needed to take her down. After meeting up with Linda, the boyfriend stressed to her that the murder plot was too complicated and they would definitely get caught. However, Linda assured him she knew a way to make sure the murders didn't seem linked. According to Linda, the murders would take place on two different days. Her ex-husband would get taken out in an area she described as ghetto, therefore no one would suspect any foul play. As for his daughter, it would be a tragic hit and run, a complete fluke. 
no one would be the wiser. After the meeting, the FBI decided it was in their best interest to convince Linda that the murders had actually taken place in order to catch her. They asked the boyfriend if he was willing to continue with the charade, and he agreed. He wanted to see this cold-blooded monster put away for good. Pretending to be her boyfriend, the FBI texted Linda to let her know that her plot had succeeded. They contacted her at home and told her they were investigating the death of her ex-husband, Isaiah. However, they also chose to take things a step further. You won't believe the lengths they went to. The authorities pretended to be the killer as well. They sent Linda fake crime scene photos, hoping to convince her that the disgusting deed had been done. Thankfully, she took the bait. Thrilled that the murder had been successful, Linda immediately contacted her boyfriend with the news. She wanted to make sure they aligned their alibis so there would be no red flags if they were questioned by police. Texting her boyfriend, who was actually an FBI agent, Linda demanded he delete all their text message conversations. It was imperative they left no tangible trail that could link them to the crime. With all the evidence they needed, the FBI approached Linda that afternoon and arrested her. To say Linda was shocked was an understatement. The officer had been outsmarted by the man she thought loved her. Linda was booked at the NYPD and charged with the use of interstate commerce for murder for hire. It was a mighty fall from grace for the officer. Or was it? It seemed Linda had a history of misconduct during her career with the NYPD. After joining the force in 2007, she'd worked at the 106th Precinct in Queens as a domestic violence officer until 2017. However, she was placed on modified duty after sharing confidential information with her boyfriend. She also lost the right to carry a gun. So what brought this officer to murder? The FBI can't say for sure, but they believe her tumultuous love life had something to do with it. Isaiah Carvalho had been her second husband, and she had restraining orders against her first husband. As of now, Linda is being held without bail as the investigation continues. There is very strong evidence of guilt of the crimes of trying to get these two individuals murdered, said Judge Ann Y. Shields of the Federal Court in the Eastern District. We hope justice is served, and we're thankful that both Isaiah and the innocent girl escape with their lives. Love can be a dangerous thing.